So as you can see, we have no phone connected. I have a Nokia 208. It's an Australian branded Nokia handset. I'm going to connect the phone now. Here's an image of what the phone looks like, because you can't see it on my, my desk here. So it's connected, it's going to try and install. Okay, now you'll probably find that Microsoft doesn't have all the drivers for every phone on the planet. So in this particular instance, you may require live chat support, and if you do, then that's okay, because we'll guide you to installing the software on your phone. So again, it's a Nokia 208. I've already taken the liberty of searching for uh, the Nokia software, and it's probably this Nokia suite. Now it's 101 megabytes, so I'm going to download it. Now this downloaded, I'm going to go to the download folder and look for the Nokia software. Of course, you know, there's so many different phones. I'm going to use uh, English US because we don't have English Australia here. Except the conditions, if it's the correct phone that you've got. Keeping in mind that the handset with the, that we're using is not a smartphone, it's actually let's call it a dumb phone, it's only a GSM mobile but it's got data capabilities. There are some phones that you cannot connect to your computer, so it needs to be able to connect to your computer. The phone is now connected, you can hear that connecting, it'll ask you to, to activate it as a modem device, run your SMS master software, and it's connected. So now the phone's connected, that's it, that's all it is, it's really simple. So just keeping in mind that each phone it has its own software from the manufacturer. So if you have a Nokia, you need to go to the Nokia website. If you have a Motorola or an LG or a Samsung, you need to go to the manufacturer's website to get those drivers for that particular phone. 